Yes, it does. Good afternoon, everyone. So, we had a bunch of glitchiness with the phone, so I decided I'll switch from mobile terminal to the laptop. So hopefully now you won't have any more of those weird stream blackouts. Yes, we've actually had three or four today. Yeah. person in the alley behind UPS Chicago Hub touched a high voltage power line, got injured. Person is a electrical worker. Carol Viacotas, 29 year old female. Chicago ALS Rig 5 Loop Station, you are responding. Going to be sending Palatine Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1 over there to assist you. <coughs> Chicago Fire Department Engine 2 Speedy, Engine Company 1. You're going to be responding <coughs> at UPS Hub Chicago. Nicholas Deltas, 48-year-old male, with the methane gas fire burns, minor burns to his hands. He actually got out of the sewer much quicker than Luke Carrollton, the veteran maintenance engineer who kind of stayed down there to try to actually control the source of ignition and stop it from getting worse and instead ended up hurting himself. He should have got out of the sewer as fast as possible and left it for the fire department to deal with. So Luke Carrollton will be going with full body burns to Northwestern Memorial Hospital. He'll be having to deal with years of surgeries and skin grafts and recovery from that. Nathan Carlton exhibiting symptoms of COVID-19. He is a 32-year-old male. We will have Chicago ALS Rig 3 come from Northwestern with a COVID test.
Oh, I forgot. Uh, I was on VC. I just typed in the chat. With full body burns, it's very unlikely that he could survive. It just depends. Well, it's full body first degree burns. Oh, okay. We're not talking about like second or third degree. We're talking about, you know, blisters across all of, all over. It's oh, still going to be a very long and excruciating recovery. Yes, it is. CFD ended six platform. You are needed at the UPS hub, Chicago. Nineteen oh five North Howe Street CTA bus lost electrical power. Over by New Trinity Church CPD District eighteen unit one and three. You are responding with Chicago Fire Department engine four speedy. Go and see if you guys can get that bus up and running. Palatine Heavy Rescue Vehicle 2. You are needed on 667 West Roosevelt Road. There was a vehicle pile up on the on ramp going onto the southbound Dan Ryan I 90. Nathan Carlton, negative for COVID-19. He has a minor fever. He was instructed to go to an immediate care clinic.
from your rescue vehicle too, clear of the multi-vehicle pileup. Someone had a TIA and they are being, they have their boat being towed over to the U.S. Coast Guard station. Una Chavez. Thirty-four year old female. Chicago ALS Rig 1, Northwestern Medicine. You are responding. Patient can be picked up slash stabilized at the U.S. Coast Guard Chicago Police Marine Helicopter Station. Carol Viacotes, 29 year old female. Minor electrical burns to the left hand. She was lucky to only be touching the piece of equipment with her left hand. She was treated on site. She refused to transport to the hospital. Stated that she will follow up with her own clinicians. Eckhart Park and Playground, 837 North Elizabeth Street, CPD District 18 Units 1 and 2. There's a person who was out on parole who uh, violated their terms of parole. Please roll over there and figure out what you're going to do with the person. Someone might be going to the clink.
Oh, dang. Fire truck accident. Are you serious? Oh, boy. 1424 South Plymouth Court. Fire truck versus tree. Tree apparently won. Oh, apparently. crap. Okay, all phone lines to halt. We got Mass Cal. The thing exploded. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to count the injuries after I shut down the phone lines. Chicago Fire Department Engine 1, Engine Company 1, Engine 2 Speedy, Engine Company 1, PFD North, Engines 3 Speedy, and Engine 1. You guys are responding immediately. 10 people injured. Palatine ALS Rig 1 through 7. All units. Responding, 1424 South Plymouth Court vicinity. Chicago ALS Rig 5, 6, and 4. Loop Station, you guys are responding. Chicago Fire Department Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1, Engine Company 1, you are responding. 1424 South Plymouth. Palatine PD Unit 1 and 2, your assistance is needed at the fire truck accident, 1424 South Plymouth Court. Una Chavez, 34 year old female with stroke symptoms being transported to Northwestern Medicine. Unfortunately, Northwestern is full up, so she is going to have to go to Rush University Medical Center. Yep, someone's going to the clink. Yep, I thought so. And they're going to... MCC Chicago and they will have their hearing as to why the hell they screwed the terms of their parole and then they'll probably be shipped off to a, another clink exactly Connor Wallace, 55, male, Dad. 
Daniel Yarbrough, 42, male. And the Delvin Still laughing. Yeah, she ain't laughing at this, that's for sure. No, she's not. She was in her kitchen when the flames burst through the window. Wow. Absolutely went up and <sighs> okay. Let's see here. Sue Laughlin. Well, you ain't gonna be laughing in Trauma Bay, that's for sure. Because that's where you're going. Exactly. Insight Medical Center. Transporting Chicago ALS Rig 5 Daniel Yarbrough going to Insight Medical Center. <laughs> Harry Ashton. Going to Insight Medical Center, Chicago ALS Rig 4. Palatine ALS Rig 1. Virginia Meyer is going to Insight Medical Center. Wanda Delvin, Palatine ALS Rig 6, you are transporting her to Insight Hospital and Medical Center. Connor Wallace, Palatine ALS Rig 2, you are transporting to Insight Medical Center. Joe Marks, Palatine ALS Rig 4, you are transporting to Insight Hospital and Medical Center. Brian Wortman.
Palatine ALS Rig 3, you are transporting to Insight Hospital Medical Center. Frank Giovanni Palatine ALS Rig 5, you are transporting to Inside Hospital and Medical Center. Bless you. Connor Wallace was the only person on that fire truck lucky enough to walk away from the collision with treatment on site. Everybody else had to go to hospital. Wow. Alrighty, I will be right back and then uh, um, we'll reactivate the phone lines. Copy that. That was astounding. And not in a good way. I know. <laughs> well, in a good way for my bank account. <laughs> ah. By this time next year, or actually by the 4th of July, holy crud, the 4th of July parade is just going to be all fire trucks and ambulances. <laughs> and I know. Cars. Yeah. In fact, what I'll do is in Palatine, I'll actually send all of my rigs over to Palatine, and then we'll, um, wait a minute, how am I going to do that, I would have to, I would have to generate some sort of place for them to all go all at the same time. It wouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Just no, wait for something to come up and then send everybody there at the same time. But I would exactly. have all of them staged at a single zone 
and then that would be the parade. So yeah, next yeah. year on the 4th of July, we're going to have a parade of rigs. All right. <laughs> Phone lines are open. of turnover today. <coughs> wow. Palatine PD Unit 2 and 1, Chicago Fire Department Engine 1 and 2 Speedy, Engine Company 1, Chicago Fire Department Engine Company 1, Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1, Battalion Chief Engine Company 42, you are responding to 550 West Taylor Street vicinity. All units responding to the 550 West Taylor Street vicinity, you can cancel. Other trucks have arrived.
1540 North State Parkway by the Cardinal's house. There must be a Catholic church over there somewhere. <coughs> CFD Engine 3, Engine Company 42, Engine 2, PFD South, CPD District 18, Unit 2 and 3. You guys are responding. It's uh, another metal scrapper. Guy's been picking up appliances and scrap metal and uh, his vehicle he uh, dropped a bunch of old water heaters on the roadway. If you can go close the roadway off and assist him with cleaning up the mess, that'd be great. Engine 1, PFD North. Engine 4, Speedy, PFD South. You are responding to a waste bin fire on the west side of the Monroe Street Bridge. Sedgwick L Station, 1530 North Sedgwick Street. Someone's trying to board the train without paying. <coughs> they keep denying the person boarding, but he keeps loitering around the station. CPD District 18, Unit 1. Please roll over there and give that person the civil fine for failing to leave an area when instructed, so it's uh, loitering, also fair dodging.
1143 South Plymouth Court condominium building person is experiencing COVID-19 symptoms Eric Sutterman, 63 year old male, has his vaccines. Chicago ALS Rig 4 Loop Station, you are responding. Eight thirty one North Lessing Street. Person's trash dumpster is on fire. CFD Engine Three. Palatine Fire North Engine One. You two are responding. Sutterman tested positive for COVID-19. He's being transported to COVID unit. He's going Northwestern Memorial.
Cat got out of someone's apartment, got its back legs stuck in a storm drain. CFD engine 4 speedy. Palatine PD unit 2. I want you guys to go over there and see if you can't get that cat unstuck. are clear of that refuse bin fire. Three twenty North Sutton Place in Carl Sandberg Village. Groundskeeper injured themselves with chainsaw. Justin Maurice. 57 year old male chainsaw was not running he uh, was in the process of loading his tools onto his truck stepped on the chainsaw blade slid his foot across the blade and you can guess what happened next he split open the bottom of his foot CFD engine 5 speedy heavy rescue vehicle 1 palatine Chicago ALS rig 3 Northwestern Medicine you guys are responding
Stephanie Sedino, 44 year old female, COVID 19 symptoms. Chicago ALS Rig 1, Northwestern Medicine, you are responding. Five North Michigan Avenue. Ten oh two West Van Buren Street. Piers Van Winkle. Pad Nursery and Preschool. Piers Van Winkle is a five year old male. Swallowed a Lego piece. Palatine ALS Rig 2. You are responding. Justin Maurice, 57 year old male, ready for transportation. He is going to Northwestern Memorial. Oh, I, I dozed off. <laughs> really, in the middle of what is probably one of our busiest days. I know, why did I do that? Wake up, Peter. Kimberly Van Dawson. 32-year-old female arborist, 120 West Court Place, Chicago ALS Rig 7, you are responding. Engine 1, PFD North. Palatine Heavy Rescue Vehicle 2, Engine 5 Platform, PFD North, Heavy Rescue Vehicle 2 from PFD North.
Palatine PD Unit 2. You're responding. 120 West Court Place. Street. No wonder frickin' felon hit on her head. Looking at a possible head injury on her. Yes. Stephanie Sedino, 44-year-old female, COVID-19 positive. She's going to get transported to Northwestern Medicine COVID-19 unit. Five-year-old swallowed a piece of Legos. Oh, wow. Yeah, I knew you were frickin' a sleeper somewhere when I said that, because I was expecting you to start laughing your ass off at that one. Yeah, I must not have heard you. Can't believe. Swallowed a Lego. Wow. Hey, at least not 19 years old. Exactly. I'll be Palatine back in a couple Alice minutes. Rig two, clear. Piers Van Winkle. Lego piece was removed using video laryngoscope. The Lego piece was lodged at the entryway to his airway. That's great that they were able to remove it. Yep. Treatment on site. Perfect. I'll be back. CFD engine one and for the units on this call 426 South Clark Street CFD heavy rescue vehicle one engine six platform engine company one battalion chief engine company 42 you're responding Palatine Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1, you are responding, 426 South Clark.
is at Royal Pawn Shop, Chicago. Kimberly Van Dawson getting transported to hospital with a concussion. She'll be going to Northwestern Memorial. Amanda Fonley, 38-year-old female symptoms of appendicitis Chicago ALS rig 4 loop station you're responding to 108 North State Street Could potentially be a hernia. She's located in First Ascent Climbing and Fitness. I'm back. Three four five North LaSalle. Free runner injured, twisted his ankle. He was uh, running for several miles. He, uh, correction, she was running for several miles and she probably shouldn't have been. She's only 17 years old. <clears throat> Sonia Kelly. 17 year old free female free runner Chicago ALS rig 5 loop station you are responding <coughs> She'll probably be going to Northwestern Orthopedics. Definitely. Chicago ALS rig 6, 2, and 1. You are responding to 151 North Michigan Avenue, Millennium Street Station, Millennium Park Station. Italian chief, engine company 42, when you're done at that pawn shop collapse, report to Millennium Park Station. <coughs> St 
Dayton Lake L Station. Someone's cat is walking around on the platform at risk of jumping onto the tracks. We have no idea whose cat it is. CPD District 18, Unit 2. You are responding with CP, uh, CFD, Engine 5 Speedy. Got that cat off of the platform. If you can't find out who owns it, take it to the Anti-Cruelty Society shelter. Amanda Fonley, 38-year-old female. Symptoms of a hernia. At least it's not appendicitis. I know. But she apparently gave herself a hernia going to the mountain climbing facility. Apparently. And there are no more beds available at all of Northwestern, so we're now going to be sending people to Rush University Medical Center. CFD, Engine 4 Speedy, your assistance is needed at 345 North LaSalle Boulevard. A free runner got injured because she tried to duck down to avoid hitting her head on a low-hanging tree branch. So our fire truck is going to go over there and cut that low-hanging branch off the tree. Sonia Kelly was treated on site for minor lacerations to her legs. She needed a couple stitches. noting was she took a small piece of glass to her knee so that needed to be pulled out by the EMS and then they had to do four stitches to close up that little split in her knee. Oh, I see. That is one girl with balls of steel. I'd have been like, no, you're taking me to the hospital. I am not letting you guys basically do surgery in the back of the ambulance. That's how I would have been, too. Chicago ALS Rig 3 Northwestern Medicine. Your assistance is needed at 10 East Grand Avenue. Person was hit by a subway train as it was coming into the station. Well, their arm. See, this is why you don't reach over the yellow line. Exactly. You lose a hand.
854 North Milwaukee. Got a call about someone violating the terms of their parole agreement. CPD District 18, Units 1 and 3. You guys are rolling over there. Guy's probably going to be going to the clink. Definitely. Most likely. Italian Chief Engine Company 42. You can clear out of uh, Millennium Park Station. ALS rigs. Two, six, and one. You guys can clear out. Palatine ALS Rig 2. Your response is needed at West Grand Avenue. Information coming. Two zero four six West Grand Avenue. Upton's Break Room Restaurant CFD Engine 3, Engine 4 Speedy, Engine 5 Speedy Engine Company 42, all units CFD Engine 2 Speedy, Engine Company 1, Engine 3 Speedy, Palatine Fire North Engine 4 Speedy, Palatine Fire South you are responding to 2064 West Grand Avenue. <coughs> Battalion Chief Engine Company 42, you are responding to the West Grand Avenue situation at Upton's Break Room. He's going to the clink. I thought so. Metropolitan Correctional Center. Caroline Wordman. L train collision survivor, 39 year old female.
She's going to Northwestern Memorial. Small boat pulled into the museum campus dock. They had a uh, medical emergency flag hoisted upon their boat. Chicago ALS Rig 5, Loop Station, you're responding. East Solidarity Drive, museum campus dock. CPD District 18, Unit 3, Palatine ALS Rig 6, 1523 West Thomas Street. A elderly individual uh, lives at that location. Neighbors are worried about the person's health. I haven't seen him outside his house in a couple days. Typically he walks the dog every day. They have not seen him or the dog. You guys are going out there and checking on him. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Burnham Harbor. There's oh. been a major situation. Yep, we are shutting down the phone lines. A uh, that. container ship has had a CBRN explosion. Oh! Mass Cal. Moving every single ambulance now. Chicago ALS Rig 7, ALS Rig 4, ALS Rig 6, Loop Station, Palatine ALS Rig 4, Five, one, seven, and three. Chicago ALS Rig two and one. You guys are rolling, along with ALS Rig three. EMS Chief Northwestern Medicine. You guys are rolling. Burnham Harbor. Engine one PFD North. Engine two PFD South. You guys are responding. Burnham Harbor. Palatine Heavy Rescue Vehicle 2. CPD District 18 Unit 2. Palatine PD Unit 3. Palatine PD Unit 1. Palatine PD Unit 2. CPD District 18 Unit 1. You are responding to Burnham Harbor.
Battalion Chief and in Company 42, Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1, Palatine, CFD Engine 6, Platform, CFD Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1, CFD Engine 1, Engine 5, Platform, Palatine, Pumper 1, PFD South. You're responding to Burnham Harbor. CPD District 18, Unit 3, Palatine ALS Rig 6, CFD Engine 4 Speedy, Engine 4 Speedy, Palatine Fire South, Engine 3 Speedy, Palatine Fire North, CFD Engine 5 Speedy, Engine Company 42, CFD Engine 2 Speedy, Engine Company 1, Palatine ALS Rig 2, North, CFD Engine 3, Engine Company 42. When you guys are done with your current call, please report to the Burnham Harbor situation.
Packard, 44 female, going to Insight Hospital and Medical Center. David Gonzalez, 62-year-old male, going to Delray Medical Center. Maury Charles, 41-year-old female, going to Delray Medical Center. Otto Navarro, 29 year old male transporting to Delray Medical Center Palatine ALS Rig 5, Chicago ALS Rig 7, Chicago ALS Rig 6, Palatine ALS Rig 3 you can return to base after transporting. You do not need to return to the Burnham Harbor site. No further medical is needed. All ambulances currently at Burnham Harbor can go ahead and clear out. ALS Rig 6 Palatine, you're clear. ALS Rig 2, you're clear. Palatine ALS Rig 4, you are clear. Chicago ALS Rig 4, loop station, you're clear to return back to the loop station. EMS Chief, Northwestern Medicine, you are clear to return to Northwestern. Chicago ALS Rigs 1 through 3, Northwestern Medicine, you are clear to return. Palatine ALS Rigs 7 and 1. Walgreens South and North, you are clear to return back to Adams Street TSS. Palatine ALS Rig 2, you are clear to return back to Adam Street TSS.
sure why someone's sending ambos to this container ship when we've already done all the medical evacuation. Chicago ALS Rig 5. You can clear out of that situation at the Coast Guard dock. Uh, correction, museum campus dock, and you actually need to return there if there's a patient who needs pickup. Donna Gomez. Donna Gomez, 62 year old female. Norovirus with severe dehydration. Fifty eight K off today. Oh, wow, it's not bad. We had to spend no, a lot, um, to get the get them going on constructing the trauma unit at Good Shepherd Hospital. Exactly, so, that and we also upgraded our fire department. Yes.
I meant to say we upgraded our Ambo Depot up in Palatine. Oh, okay. Remember we got another new Ambo? We, uh, yes, now I remember. down to Chicago. Rig 7. Oh, yes. drink right now we're kind of stuck in a holding pattern we're waiting for more resources to arrive to take care of this situation with this uh, container ship copy that I'm gonna go do something real quick and I'll be back very shortly
I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. stuck here waiting. I see.
Are you kidding me? Another one? What? Alrighty, let's get the ambos rolling. Chicago ALS Rig 6, Chicago ALS Rigs 4, 5, 7, all loop units, all Walgreens South units, Palatine ALS Rig 4, Palatine ALS Rig 7, Palatine ALS Rig 6, Palatine ALS Rig 3, all Walgreens North location, Palatine Rigs 5, Rig 1, Rig 2, all Northwestern Medicine Rigs, Rigs 1 through 3, and EMS Chief Northwestern Medicine, you guys are rolling. Yep, there's been another container ship fire with explosion. Wow. The only difference is this one is non Sebrin. Wow. In the last Frick. hour, there have been two explosions. Yep. Yep. Holy crap, I better start triaging.
Deirdre Ulrich, 28-year-old female. She is being transported to Delray Medical Center. Copy that. Palatine ALS Rig 3, when you're done transporting, return back to the ship. Uh, well, heard a transport call ring. Yes. Jane Yarmel, 41 year old female. Chicago ALS Rig 6, you are transporting Delray Medical Center and returning back to the ship. Uh, scratch that on returning back to the ship. Palatine ALS Rig 7, Boris Whitman. 34-year-old male going to Delray Medical Center. Copy that. Well, bad news is we got a massive uh, cleanup to do for two ships. The good news is this one, the injuries were a lot less severe. A lot of people oh, that's been good. treated on site. That's good. Gabrielle Charles, 29 year old female, going to hospital. Delray Medical Center. Palatine ALS Rig 7 transporting. Chicago ALS Rig 5. Connor Jensen, 28-year-old male. He will be going to Delray Medical Center. All medicals are clear. All ambulances can clear out. EMS Chief, Northwestern Medicine, you guys can clear out.
popos. Yeah, I can have one popo back, so I can station that popo over at the other ship. CPD District 18, Unit 3. Just go to the other side of the harbor. Uh, <laughs> literally right on the other side of the harbor. Yeah. A container ship fire over there. I need you to set up security perimeter. Burnham Harbor is going on complete lockdown. Oh, um, there's been a major train station collapse. That's great. Are you and serious? They, luckily, there's only one injury. Chicago ALS Rig 6, you are responding. South State Street. It's going bad. <laughs> Cermak McCormick Place L Station. Roof has collapsed. Oh man, has the shit hit the fan. Yes, it has. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh man. Palatine ALS Rig 1. Palatine ALS Rig 6. Palatine ALS Rig 2. Chicago ALS Rig 4, EMS Chief, Northwestern Medicine Health. Chicago ALS Rig 7, USPS Loop Station. Palatine ALS Rig 5, Palatine ALS Rig 4, Chicago ALS Rig 2, Northwestern Medicine. Palatine ALS Rig 3, Northwestern Medicine. Chicago ALS Rig 3, Chicago ALS Rig 1, Palatine ALS Rig 7. All ambulances, you are responding to East 27th Street. I don't even know what to say about all this. Oh my god. I, I just said what there is to say about it. 27th Street Station, roof has collapsed. The shit... Has hit the fan. Yes, it has. Start punching up triage over here. Chicago ALS Rig 5 Loop Station. I need you down at East 27th Street, 27th Street Station. Day's not even over. We've already transported a hundred patients. Are you serious? I am dead serious. And Whoa. that's not even including the mass cal we had at the train station to start our shift. Probably transported something like 120. Wow.
that's what I'm thinking. Alrighty, I've got everybody punched into the triage list. Good, lots of minor injuries. We still got paid whether we transport them or not. Get paid for treatment. I'll be right back. Copy that. I mean, think about it. Food is nothing more than edible chemicals. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, hell, look at Nutrin, look at Tucal. It's literally edible chemicals. Yes, it is. Camilla Nantes going to hospital. She's going to need a trauma surgeon. She is going to Inside Hospital Medical Center. Holy frick. No point in having my popos babysitting a single boat. May as well have my popos. CBD District 18, Unit 1. Your presence is needed at the South State Street train station collapse. That is the Cermak McCormick Place L Station roof collapse. Valentine PD Unit 3, your presence is requested at 27th Street Station. Too many popo cars off the off the Seabrin ship. I'll uh, need to bring my two popos back from the train station, or I'll need to buy two more popo cruisers. I don't know. I have to go deal with the soup first. I will be right back, and then we'll copy figure that. Out what we're doing here.
buy two more purple cars, we're going to end up demolishing the bank account. Yeah. So, I think my best option is I pull my cruisers out of the train stations. And I leave an ambo at them. Yeah. Yeah, I leave one ambo at each station. All ambulances at 27th Street Station you can clear out except for Chicago ALS Rig 2. Chicago ALS Rig 2, you're standing by in case anybody else gets hurt. I've got Chicago ALS Rig 6 standing by at the Sir Mac McCormick Place L station. And I'm sending my two popos back over to the Seaburn. CPD District 18 Unit 1, Palatine PD Unit 3, please return to Burnham Harbor, Seaburn. <laughs> it's a good thing I have all those ambos. <laughs> I know. Out of that entire train station collapse, only one person needed transport to hospital. Wow. Out of both collapses, which is remarkable. That means, uh, they, uh, you know, people did a remarkably good job of obeying safety procedure, and when they, uh, heard alarms going off and were told to get out of the station and evacuate, they stood up from their things, left everything behind, and ran. That's good. It, it takes a lot of, um, takes a lot of, uh, kind of trying to think what word to use here. It takes a lot of maturity to be able to just leave behind your belongings. And, it takes a lot of yeah. gut to do that. Yeah. I mean, some of these people probably left their entire life behind. I know. So we've transported easily 120 people today. Good grief. I'm going to sit here and monitor these situations. Um, after this, we're going to probably be closing the phone lines for the night. Okay. Because it's going to take several hours to resolve these situations, so... Yes, it is. Here, if you want to see the list, you can take a look at the list. Okay. Oh, there we go. Every day we dispatch, I'm going to use the list to da keep list. track of, yeah. I'm literally calling it that. Da nice. List. <laughs> da list. After all, we're dispatching in 
Chicago with, you know, the Bears, the Bean, the Hospital, the Fountain. That's how people in Chicago talk. Yeah. So, the list. Exactly. I'll be right back. I'm going to go see how the soup is doing. Copy that. Good grief, this list is long. This list I'm looking at right now is huge. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> and that doesn't even include the mascal that was at Ogilvy. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't even get the idea of making a list like that till after the Ogilvy situation. I was like, you know what? I think we should probably be making a list. Yeah. So yeah, from now on, every day that list will be cleared in the morning before we start, and then we'll just fill it up over the course of the day. Sounds good. I did not expect Chicago to... It, everything was fine, and then Chicago just literally fell apart. Yes, it did. One line from Blink-182 Anthem Part 2 
would go really well here. Everything has fallen to pieces. Everything <laughs> has fallen to pieces. Let yes, it would. this train wreck burn more slowly. <laughs> Kids are victims in this story. <laughs> that is hilarious. Pull it up on Apple Music. The whole song okay. is really freaking good. And what's it called? Anthem Part 2 by Blink-182. Okay. And you'll see why I say that song perfectly fits this situation right now very well. Yeah. I'm listening to it right now. everyone i think that's gonna wrap it up for today's stream um obviously you know there's these four situations here but there's not much that we can do at this point except for wait um tomorrow morning i'll give kind of a final update on what happened with these things whether they got fixed or well they have to you know if, if they're not fixed by tomorrow then they're still going to be there so, um, you know, I'll uh, show you the final financial report for this evening right now. And then I'll also show you once more the financial report for today, which will show the transactions for the ship uh, situations that just occurred. So we had a 433k turnover today and a 46k deficit because we did a ton of spending. We spent a lot on uh, new ambos and uh, various other upgrades along with upgrading the Advocate Good Shepherd Hospital location with trauma services. So, yeah, um, the shit has hit the fan. Chicago is in shambles and there is not a damn thing I can do because uh, my resources are outstripped. Yes. So yeah, I will see you all later. Um, might have a bit of a Call of Duty stream, might not. That's uh, all uh, up in the air, um, but I'm going to definitely be keeping an eye on this. But um, I don't see much point in keeping you guys here when we're going to be sat here probably for hours 
staring at these four radar dots. 